Alrighty, we are here. We've got uh, Mackenzie, Kylie, and Ronnie here with us. Uh, we're in East Palestine, uh, right outside of the original Roadhouse restaurant where President Trump is expected kind of any time here now. Um, all three of these folks live right here in town. Do you want to just talk a little, a little bit about what this has all been like for you all as kids having this go on in your town? It's like weird because I'm used to like being able to like walk to like McDonald's or to like the store or something and now like my mom's like, it's dangerous, don't go outside. Uh, get her. Okay. Um, my mom doesn't really want me walking anywhere because of the chemicals in the air, so I can't really go anywhere. But she, uh, she we, let us come if she let us come to see Trump. Gotcha. And uh, have any of you all like experienced any sort of symptoms when this happened? Yeah, my little brothers, um, my little brother Jameson, we, my mom had to rush to the hospital, and they said he had croup. They put him as they he had croup, but he's just getting sicker and sicker, and my other brother just got sick. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's that's. Uh, that's fine. My brother, he was like laying next to the air vent, and he got a rash on his uh, cheek, and then like we've all been having like runny noses since it happened, and like headaches and stuff. But then when we go out of town, in like Robinson or something, or we feel better, and then when we come back, it's like happened again. And when we come into town, like our eyes start burning, and stuff. Um, my nose has just been really runny. That's it. My left eye, I have like. It was burning, and my mom has chemical burns in her eyes, and um, like, it's gross. I have something else too. Uh, when I like take a shower with the shower water, I end up getting like burns all over my legs, like it itches and burns. And uh, have you all been back into school now since this? What has it been like in school uh, so far? It's been like normal. Yeah, but they nothing haven't really like closed the water fountains or nothing. Kids are just going up there and drinking the water. Yeah, I don't drink the water no. in the first place. I, ne I never I don't drink, drink the school. water either. The drinking water fountains in the schools are not blocked off? Yeah. yeah, they're not blocked off. They let you drink out of them still. I mean, that's uh, that sounds crazy. And are people, I mean, obviously it sounds like you all aren't drinking it. Are other kids drinking it in school? Yeah, but yeah. I don't drink, I don't, I've never drank in the school water. Not a lot of kids are drinking it because our teachers have water bottles in the back of the classroom. The fact that they're not blocked off though seems not great. Um, I guess, uh, is there anything that you'd want to share with uh, folks who don't live here in East Palestine to kind of spread some message out to the rest of the people who might be watching about what's actually happening here? Yeah. It, it's crazy and I think they should do more about it. Yeah. Well, do you have something else to say? Uh, like, it's crazy how they just put like mulch and stuff over it and never cleaned it up. And they, I have a video that might be in the last video. There's still chemicals. And there's like them tearing the train apart and everything. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for, for taking the time to, to talk with me. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you.